You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name's Rob. And this is episode 810. We're grateful that you're hanging out with us today. Hopefully you're uh, having a great day, getting a lot of flying in. Hopefully the weather is starting to kick butt where you are, like it is here. It Although is Although we're dealing nice. with a lot of wind right now. Yep, sure is windy out there, but it's good practice, and you should be practicing in the wind as well. On that bombshell, which isn't really a bombshell, I hope you are practicing because it really is important. Um, but we're going to be talking about a little bit of mapping trivia today. Mm. So we're excited about that because mapping is one of those things very technical. You can get a lot of things wrong to get one thing right. Or excuse me, you need a lot of things right to get one thing right. You miss one tiny little nuanced issue with mapping and you're gonna have some significant problems. Mm, gotta go out and redo the whole thing? Is that possible? Pretty much, yes, oh, Wow. all the time. So let's head right into today's question which is brought to you by our friends at the DroneU community, the largest now online community of drone training in the country. Check it out. Become a member. Go to DroneU.education today. If you love the show, if you found the information helpful, useful, valuable, Gosh, then you're just going to love being a part of the online community, interacting, engaging with other people, getting motivated and inspired, and just living the drone life. Turn your passion into profit today. DroneU.education. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rob. Captain New Jersey again. Another mapping question. This one has to do with mapping a structure that's got trees close to it laterally, say, you know, 30 feet away um, on the sides is just like I say, mapping a cell tower, do you just gotta do a manual orbit around the building to get the details in the facade? I feel like putting the drone up 70 feet, 80 feet in the air and doing a, a mission in PIX4D is gonna get me decent results around the, the roof and all that, but down near the ground and on the sides of the building, there's just the tree's gonna block the line of sight. So I feel like I gotta do it the hard way, but if you have any other ways that you could think of that I'm not thinking of to do it, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks. Thank you, Ken. Um, man. Ken from New Jersey, question number 100. <laughs> Free membership to you, my friend. <laughs> Jeez. But you know what? They're not cheesy questions. No, they're really good. They're, they're always out. actually well that's thought we out questions. Them. Well, that's it true. It goes to show if you answer a question and it's a good one, chances are it's going to be answered. Yeah, no, absolutely. He obviously asked a lot of them because you guys have heard him on here a lot. By the so, way, to thank the you, Ken. Uh, person... And he is a member, by the way. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, to the person who asked the question, if I shave my head, will I run a better business? The answer is absolutely. The answer is yes. Of course. 100%. That was a really stupid question. Yeah, I mean, it's more streamlined, aerodynamic. Mm. think of the time you less save. Less drag. Gosh. I mean, you're uh, you're you're more positive, mm -hmm. optimistic. I mean, just look at this bean counter over here. Yeah. You ever look at someone so happy to count things in his life? I know. Yeah. <laughs> and bean counter is my favorite title of all. Is it really? Yeah. yeah Can I awesome. get that put on your shirt for the flying? Please. Bean counter. Yeah. Let's just put it in like three places on well, my shirt. Well, because we're getting, you know, the secret with let's the drone. My socks the too. drone you elite is that we're getting these call signs, right? Because mm -hmm. I started the whole call sign mm -hmm. thing, taking flight. So you know that's so, why I went into accounting, right? So that I could be called bean counter. I mean, that, gosh, I know. It all makes sense <laughs> yes, now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It can. Unfortunately, the green visors went out because I was kind of <laughs> looking forward to that as well. I mean, <laughs> I think I got cheated. Oh, we need to get one of those like uh, one of those lights in in your office that has like the green glass and the like the the little gold <laughs> yeah. tassels hanging from it. I'm in. I'm, <laughs> what's taking us so long? <laughs> I just need. Hey, you know, Sarah's trying to get into interior design. We could set her up real fast. Hey, we'll give her her first gig. <laughs> Rob's bean counter space. The accounting bubble 101. Right. My lair. <laughs> I guess we should probably play the question. Or wait, did we already play the question? I can't even remember if we played the question. <laughs> we played the question. Uh, oh, his question was about getting the, the, the corners <laughs> in your maps when there's lots of vegetation. Oh, again, the timing of this podcast. This would all make sense, the interaction. The fun, actually. Um, the giddiness. Uh-huh. 
Anyways, we did ask, we did ask the question, so it's been played. So the trees. Where, where did the giddiness come from? You were going somewhere with that. I just wanted to know where you were going. Well, I didn't want to. So the fact that the, the whole timing, I don't want to confuse people. But the fact that you're you're now married, even though we're recording it before you're married. Oh, you just had stuff. to say that again. Yeah, I did. Uh, just make it I more did. awkward one more time. I, well, I don't mean to make it awkward. <laughs> All right. Well, Maybe since did, I'm though. quote unquote married in the future now, uh, <laughs> let's take this question with a different approach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, in order to get the corners of the buildings in your maps, and in fact, I actually learned this <clears throat> from someone in uh, in Florida. Sometimes you do have to take terrestrial images, and sometimes you do have to go into manual mode. Not really manual mode, excuse me, but manual flight. Not necessarily a flight mode, but just you're in control of flying while mapping. And you do have to position your camera so that you get at least a minimum of three pictures in that area of the corner of the building where it meets the ground. So important. So if, okay. you're get, if you're doing the orbits around the house and you're not getting the corner of the house in at least two to three images... And you need to fly closer, tilt the camera down to get, you know, some sort of position where you get the corner of that building. You have to do it and you have to get it in at least three images. So he was asking about trees being all around the area uh -huh. as well. So you're just saying, uh, taking his question specifically with the trees, are you saying you're just going to have to navigate through it throughout those trees? Or? So typically you could navigate closer and tilt your camera down more. You may have to go further away and tilt your camera down a little bit less or, you know, adjust the tilt. The key here is that no, no matter where you have to fly, the key is that you get a minimum of three images that have that point in the image itself. Okay. So if he's flying in orbit, let's say with an offset of 50 feet from the center of the building at 90 feet in elevation, so 50 feet off, 90 feet up, and he's still not getting, he may have to fly closer in a manual flight. He could fly a GPS mm -hmm. and then tilt his camera down even more to find the corner of the building and then get three shots, click, 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 that have at least you know a 10% difference in each photo. So, so the bottom line is if there's trees, you just got to work around them. Exactly, yeah. And this is something that Jason uh, does a lot, a lot of. And sometimes you have to take terrestrial images, um, which what, means so, images from the ground. Okay, cool. Because I was just going to ask you, what about ground camera yeah, work? Yeah, you could totally do ground camera work. Okay. So, um, and oftentimes, you know, people are like, oh, I don't want to do ground camera work because then I have to do the whole house on the on the ground. And it's like... Yes, but just run those images as its own process and then mix them in with the other processes later and it'll look really sexy. Well, and you've got to do what you've got to do to get mm -hmm. the map, to get the job done, right? So if that it's means true. terrestrial. Yeah, said, and, I, and I, I have found that oftentimes you don't have to use terrestrial because a lot of the GPS on terrestrial cameras sucks. Mm. So like even if you're flying low with the Phantom, this is why Doug was always saying like, oh my gosh, Paul finally admitted like you have to be a decent pilot to be a good mapper. That's if you know how to do mapping correctly. Um, but yeah, you do have to be a good pilot to do mapping well because you do have to fly in areas that are difficult to get into. You do have to fly in areas where spatial positioning, you're looking at the drone and you look down for a second to make sure that the corner is in your camera and click, 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 and you barely move. You know, there are times that the pucker factor is going to be 10. <laughs> but most of the time mapping pucker factor is like negative one. Right. But in those situations, you can't be thinking about the flying. You've got that's just got to be natural, second yeah. nature kind of deals what you're and saying. And this is why we do the obstacle course too with Drone U Elite trainings, which will be starting very soon. So if you want to get a training from Drone U in an area near you, you're in luck. Yeah. So anyway, um, I okay. think that answers his question though. So. Yeah, I hope so. But I'm pretty confident if not, Ken will let us know. Uh, I'm if sure anybody will. will let us know, <laughs> it's yeah. Ken, which I love. I appreciate also, that. Also, let me know uh, if you do become more aerodynamic when you shave your head and if business profits do go up. So, mm. you know, they say Be that the curious. human eye does like shiny objects, just mm -hmm. like fish. Another good reason to, uh, to go bald. There's a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Yeah. You know, chicks dig accountants and chicks dig bald, bald people. In case they got know. money and they're smooth. What else do you need to know? <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell, oh, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.